Hello, this is Roy Byswinger here from Powered Sport Flying here at the uh, Midwest Aviation Expo with uh, Sebastian Hines from Zenith Aircraft. Uh, we're here, beautiful day, lots of people flying, uh, good time. Sebastian's taking a little bit of time to talk with us about uh, both the aircraft and about your big event coming up. How you doing, sir? I'm doing very well. It's a pleasure to be here. Absolutely. Well, well great. Uh, you've been here actually a couple more days than I've been, so how's the week been for you? Well, I, act I actually just showed up this morning. Okay, and, you uh, and me both. So, uh, both. yeah, for, for us, uh, I consider this nearly a local show because right. uh, we're, you know, about 100 miles on the other side of St. Louis, so exactly. it's a nice, nice morning flight to come in. So I left a little oh, bit earlier this morning and just came in. So you cheated. You commuted. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. You that's commuted. Right. I I'll, love it. I'll probably spend the night here, uh, stay stay through till till tomorrow night. But uh, but I did commute the one night. Very nice. So which one was your commuter? Uh, the CH750 Cruiser right here, where which was okay. standing in front. Uh -huh. And you know it's called a cruiser because it's a good good little airplane to uh -huh. go cross country flying. And right, right, right. And. So this is a uh, factory built one, I gather. Well, it's it's amateur built. You know, amateur uh, Zenith built. Aircraft Company. We're we're uh, just a kit manufacturer. Right. Okay. So that's what we, I was trying we, to get my we don't manufacture that. LSA uh, uh, airplanes specifically. Uh, right. We make kits that obviously meet the the, the qualifications exactly. for that. Exactly. But uh, pretty much all our airplanes are amateur built. Right. Right. And speaking of your facility, been there a couple years ago. Fantastic. Mm -hmm, place. Mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of people don't realize there even is a Mexico, Missouri. Right. And once you hear about it, though, you remember it. That's right. It's, it's kind of <laughs> unique. So, kind of unique. Do. Yeah. And uh, you've got, I, 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 it, it, there's so much of that airport that is pretty much Zenith. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And that's one of the reasons we, we located there. And that's 25 years ago. Okay. Is, uh, you know, it's a nice, small little airport. Well, kind of kind of similar to the Mount Vernon Airport here, where, right. where you've got a really good airport facility, but we're in a, in a small community. What I like to say in the middle of nowhere or in the middle of everything, depending which exactly. which way you look at it. But uh, so we have a very good supportive community uh, in Mexico and we have our, our factory where we do all the manufacturing uh, of the kits there. And uh, like I mentioned, uh, this will be our 25th uh, anniversary. Right. Well, Tell us about that. Well, you know, again, June of 1992, uh, when I was uh, a little bit younger than today, and uh, started the factory there uh, with at the time with my dad uh, Chris, uh, uh, who was coming from Canada, and and we were we started this factory kind of as an expansion move for for Zen oh, right. Air manufacturing airplanes up in Canada, and again, that's 25 years ago, and uh, this year we'll we'll be celebrating our 25th anniversary. So. Wow. Well, you celebrate every year anyway, so it's always a pretty good party. So you've had practice working up to this 25th year. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, last year was our 25th annual fly-in, and because mm -hmm. we had one starting up so this will be our 26th annual oh, event gotcha. okay and uh so yeah we've been we've been doing these every year and and the the open hangar day it's a chance for the community to come out and, and see an aircraft kit manufacturing facility sure and we're a modern facility we have a lot of cnc manufacturing going on and then right. of course we got a lot of airplanes and airplane parts so it's always interesting for folks to, to visit and to look at and to and to learn about it and we also kind of view it as a homecoming for our all our customers because uh, a lot right. of customers have visited us that's where they learned about the airplanes. That's where they took that first demo flight. Sure. And then uh, we also do a lot of hands-on factory workshops up there. So a lot of airplanes were actually started there with the rudder s assemblies. Oh, yeah. And then subsequently, then we've uh, shipped out the kit and then they finished the airplane. And now they're, it gives them an opportunity to fly back home, if you will, to right. where the airplane all started. So it's a, it's a really fun uh, fun event and, it, and it's a really rewarding experience for all the participants to come out and do that. It's, you know, and it's not a Midwestern event. I mean, I, I, I remember going out there and just arriving late. So I'm parked way out in the weeds. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I'm walking past all these cars. And there's, of course, the Missouri cars, of course, the Illinois cars, of course, okay, Iowa, Kentucky. There were cars from Texas, yeah, Arizona, yeah. California. Yeah, yeah, I'm always amazed. And, you know, we, we, First started our open hangar day it was for the local community to see right. aircraft manufacturing, and it kind of just grew organically from that. And like I mentioned, it's become a little bit of a homecoming for all our customers. Right, right. And so, yeah. So now it's 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 really become uh, an event for Zenith enthusiasts and, and builders. Of course, we invite everybody out there. It's certainly sure. you know, and those are hopefully future Zenith builders as that's well. That's right. That's right. And uh, but uh, it, we we get folks again, like like you mentioned, from around the country, from Canada, from Europe. Uh, um, it's amazing. We've had some guys from Australia wow. come out and everything. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's real neat. That is neat. 
And you do, uh, there's a lot of little workshop things that you do, stuff uh -huh. for the kids and yep, yep, yep. activities. And you know, t t talk about the kids stuff first, because that's pretty neat. Well, the kids stuff, again, yeah, you know, we, we, we were all kids at one point, and we, we, we know, and airplanes is kind of an engaging thing, so it's always nice to get kids involved with that. Um, you know, being a kit manufacturer, we like to get things, you know, get them involved in hands-on stuff. So we have right. a lot of little projects, uh, drilling and riveting. One of our favorite things to build are, are little binders out of, built out of aluminum. Right. And uh, so basically assemble the binder, following the instructions, drilling and riveting. And, right. it, and it's one of those things that the kids don't even realize that they're having, that they're learning a lot because they're having so much fun doing that it. That is neat. And uh, it's something on, on, it's kind of self-guided. They do it for an hour or two and they have a really neat binder and they, and they always bring that so, to school and really proud of what they be built. Something proud of, right. And something right. that it's, it's a functional thing, but it's also something that they've accomplished, but that they've built themselves. So right. I think that's a really neat thing. And then, you know, you can, in combination then, of course, with things like Young Eagles, where kids actually go flying right. in the airplane. So it becomes a really good day for the kids. It and then the funny. parents to, to see that their, their child is getting really engaged in, in this kind of stuff. It's not just video games, it's actually doing real things and, right. and still learning things. And again, not realizing that they're learning because they're having so much fun. Exactly. And But the learning isn't just for the kids. I mean, you've got, and I, and I think this is pretty unique for uh, a lot of aircraft kit manufacturers is you bring in a lot of outside talent. You yeah, bring in yeah. motor guys, you bring in instrument guys. Mm -hmm. Talk about some of the folks that are going to be there this year. Well, and, and, and like you say, the, the key word there is talent. Uh, you know, we, we know our airplanes and our airplane designs very well, probably right. better than anybody else. But when it comes to engines, well, go to the engine companies. Sure. The avionics, same thing. So what we do is we invite all these experts that, that manufacture this right. and invite them to come out. So all the engine manufacturers, the avionics, Avionics companies, you know, Dynon, Garmin, they all come out and uh, and and again uh, are there to to talk about the product, but more importantly, talk to the actual users of the products, answer their questions, and so forth. So it really becomes not so much a sales venue, but more an informational venue that right. they can really get all the questions about installing this particular engine in their airplane or that avionics package, and so forth. So it becomes a very uh, useful. Uh, uh, event to to participate in if you're building a Zenith or any other kit for that matter sure to come out and, and learn about uh, all these different choices and for us as a kit manufacturer our expertise is the airframe side it's not everything right. else so right. so again we always al allow customers to choose the engine that they install on their airplane same thing on the avionics choose the avionics so again that's a great place and a great time to uh, to learn all about that right right I can imagine that some of the guys who would come to this thing or maybe guys who bought a kit and are looking to get re-energized and you know, or, they, or they've run into a stumbling part in something and they just want to meet with other owners because there's nothing like learning about a project to actually get involved in the project. Oh, absolutely. And, and like you say, you know, it's not that uncommon because, you know, building an airplane is a big project. There's no right. doubt about oh, yeah. it. And so it's not that uncommon <laughs> that you hit, you know, a slow time, if you will. Sure. And like you say, it's a good opportunity to get re-energized and then see what's what is new in the marketplace too, right. whether it's on the avionics and, and so forth side. So it's a yeah, it's a it's a great opportunity for that. And then of course, you know, there's nothing more inspiring than other success stories. So well, exactly. So when you see that, it, it just you go home all energized to go on with the airplane project. Exactly. So if somebody was going to come out, uh, what's kind of the schedule events? What are they going to expect? Well, it's really set up over two full days. Uh, okay. That said, um, it's 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 also organized very informally. Um, again, right. we, we have seminars running throughout both days, uh, starting on uh, Friday morning. So that's Friday, September twenty second. Okay. Um, we have this uh, seminar starting at nine o'clock in the morning, basically running all day long. Wow. And uh, and we'll have again not just seminars from outside folks, but also inside the factory. We show a lot of kit building seminars, tips and hints, and sure. so forth on how to build your airplane. And um, and then Friday night we have a our annual banquet dinner, and that's we usually have about 250 folks for that, and it's a it's just a fun fun banquet dinner. We have little awards uh, oh, yeah. for and, and number of things like that. Sure. And, uh, and again, this year the focus will be on the 25th anniversary. Uh, of Zenith Aircraft Company. So gonna have a cake? You're gonna have a cake and lot, again, lots of prizes, door prizes, uh, oh, presentations, great. a bit about the history of our company and, and things like that. So, so somebody wants to make the trip out there. Like I said, I saw lots of license plates out there, but you were also mentioning people fly into the thing. Sure. So somebody is making plans to get there. Uh, where, first of all, where are they going exactly? I know Mexico, Missouri. 
is it a uh, is the airport on the sectionals and oh yeah 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 mexico kmyj it's a nice okay. little airport Good. we've got two two big runways so it's a great little airport to fly and you can fly pretty much everything into uh okay mexico uh, we have lots of tie down areas okay, if you're park. flying in Good. if you're flying in overnight make sure you bring your tie downs that type of thing sure um uh, in terms of accommodations um we we have on-site camping available oh, both with your airplane or if you come in with the camper or anything else we've got a camper area as well and um, and, and this then, is a perfect time for camping yeah beautiful Missouri. time of the year yeah yeah, yeah. 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 and awesome. then there, there there are also really nice campgrounds in the in in the immediate area as well right the city has a nice campground right on the lake that's actually free camping there and right. so forth so lots of uh, lots of opportunities that way uh, Mexico has a handful of hotels in town. I was going to say, uh, that's where I camp, is and, usually a hotel. <laughs> <laughs> and again, for driving in, we're about two hour drive from St. Louis, okay, it is about a while. two okay. and a half hours from uh, Kansas City. Uh -huh. And um, but, uh, but again, it's, it's very accessible that way. Very neat, very neat. Uh, if somebody wants to find out more, where do they go? Uh, easiest way is on our website, uh, zenithair.com. Okay. And uh, we have lots of information. And uh, over the next uh, uh, few days leading up to the event, we'll be publishing an actual schedule of when the forms are, the, the seminars, and so forth, so that folks can uh, organize their day accordingly. So visit early, visit often. Absolutely. absolutely. Okay. Uh, Sebastian Hines, thanks so much for uh, joining us here today. This is Roy Beiswinger from Powered Sport Flying and we'll be back with more later. It's been my pleasure, thank you.